Tam, uh, this is John Werner at the Waco Tribune Herald. Uh, what have you liked about Coach Tang's coaching style and why have y'all come together like you have so quickly as a team, do you think? Uh, first off, Coach Tang, he's he's very passionate about winning. And uh, we are, well, you know, I'm around a group of guys that is also passionate about winning. So, you know, we're going to win and, you know, we connect very well. And our chemistry on and off the court is great. So, I mean, that's unbeatable. Is there anything that he's maybe stressed to y'all a lot? Um, yeah, roll, you know, on you know, roll wins, like everything, when things go bad in practice or things go wrong, maybe like a missed call or something like that. He would say we're on a road because, you know, things don't always go our way on the road. Thanks, Cam. Yeah. Uh, next question to Alan. Hey, Cam, thanks for doing this. Um, a couple times this year, I think against Kansas City and obviously against Texas, you've had some scoring outbursts where you've scored at least 15 points. Um, what do you think contributed to those scoring performances in those two games? Um, first, I would say, uh, you know, my hard work, staying in the gym, putting in extra shots, extra hours, things like that. And, you know, my teammates, you know, I can't I can't just always create shots for myself. You know, it's always, you know, most of my shots are catch and shoot shots. So, you know, I can't score those shots or score those points without my teammates getting me the ball. So, yeah. And I guess, what do you think the key is to being able to replicate performances like that on a more consistent basis now that you guys are in Big 12 play? Uh, just standing in the gym and uh, getting open looks from my teammates and knocking them down. And obviously last year when you were at Mississippi State, you didn't have the biggest role. I know you started a few games, but you played less than 10 minutes a game. Coming to K-State and being a regular starter and playing more than 25, 27 minutes a game, like how hard has it been for you to really adjust to that kind of role identification? Uh, I mean, it's, it hasn't been really hard. You know, I just want to do everything that coach asked me to do because uh, I know everything he tells me to do is going to lead to winning. So, yeah. Thanks, Cam. Appreciate it. No problem. Uh, next question to Cole. Cam, when you look and see what Marquise is doing, what Keontae is doing, does it want to make you become a better basketball player? And just how cool is it to see what those guys have been doing? Yeah, it does. It, it does make me uh, want to be you know better. I was just telling uh, someone yesterday, you know, I want to, you know, get to where Keontae is because, you know, he's an elite scorer. Like, it, he's very efficient. So, yeah, and Marquise, he, he's another one. He's very efficient. I mean, you know, we shoot a lot after practice. So, I mean, he's like a big brother to me. You know, he think, you know, when things go wrong for me, you know, he's like the big brother. You know, I can lean on, like, you know, how, how do I do this? How do I do that type stuff? I mean, you and Jarrell were the first two guys to commit to Coach Tang mm -hmm. um, and the staff when they took over. When you made that commitment, when you visited Kansas State, is this kind of how you envision the season going? Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. Because Tang had a vision and I believed it. And I had one too. And so when you look at this Baylor team, obviously they got a lot of good guards, Keontae George, one of them. What goes into stopping um those guards that Baylor has? And and, and how do you think you guys will be able to match up with them? Uh I think we match up pretty well and we just have to stay disciplined to our principles. And you know, we're gonna come out on top. Coach Tang talked about uh, he says he said a lot of a lot of the guys, you know, not just you, but you go and you spend hours in the gym work, working on shots, getting shots up. Uh, you seem to take a lot of pride in your defense. Is that yeah. something that you've been practicing since you were young? And is that kind of something that you guys as a team are starting to really um, work, work around? Yeah, it's it's something as a team we work around. But I mean, I feel like I have a lot of heart and I just take pride in, you know, my defense. Good deal. Thanks, Cam. Uh, next question to Vince. Hey, Cam. Yeah, what's up? So, so I asked Coach Tang this. When he first came there, you guys obviously are 13-1, and one, right? Yeah. How, did you envision that? Because I asked Coach that, and he said yes, I, as you talked about the vision. When you first got here, and did you see this team being at this point right now? Yeah, I did. Because Coach Tang, he told us, you know, he, he, didn't, he didn't come here to rebuild. He came here to elevate. And that's exactly what he did. So, I mean, I, I trust Coach Tang from – I trusted him from day one. So – and everything he told me, everything he tells us, 
uh, it's been true. So, and do you think that's important? I, I would say probably building a culture for you guys to keep that locker room, you know, tight. You guys seem like it's a very tight group. Is that kind of help the culture too, for not even just this year, but for future years too? Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, Coach Tang put us all in the same apartments purposely, and I mean, we even if we didn't like each other, we didn't have a choice but to bond. But I mean, that's not the case. We all love each other here. Uh, we bond. We have a, a bond that's different. I I played on a team last year, you know, a different team last year, and this team this year, I just know it, it's a big difference between you know the uh, connection. Appreciate it, Cam. Thanks so much. No problem. All right, we'll go to Michael. Yeah, Cam, was there one was there one aspect of your game that Coach Tang pointed out that he liked when he came to see you at Mississippi State? Yeah, um, he told me, you know, he liked how hard I played on both ends. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And what areas have you worked to improve your game since you've become a college player? Uh, my shooting and my uh, playmaking, because I know I, you know, in the past, I, you know, I, I will get a lot of turnovers from not playing off two feet or, you know, seeing things a little too late, making wrong reads sometimes. And Coach Tang, you know, watching film with him and the GAs, they, you know, they help me, you know, make better reads on and off the ball, you know, you know, backdoor cutting, if it's passing, you know, when to shoot the ball and when not to shoot it. So yeah, I, I, I was there a certain point Tuesday night when you guys realized that everything was kind of clicking from an offensive standpoint? Uh, yeah. well, from the locker room. Well, in the locker room, we talked about uh, you know, usually we start off slow. I mean, I'll say that, but Coach Tang told us, you know, we're on a roll, so we got to start out fast, and that's what we did. We got out there real fast, and you know, it was like shooting rocks in the ocean. You feel like everybody has kind of fit into their role at this point in the season? You guys are 14 games in? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everybody, they take pride in their role and they don't want to do anything different because, you know, everything we're doing right now is leading to winning. All right, Cam, appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Any other questions for Cam before I let him down? Okay, thanks, Cam. Uh, no problem.